Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a jar cap with a lot of details and the easy way to do it. So for example, we have our jar cap already, right? Whatever size you're making. For example, this is a peanut butter jar cap, right? So what we had there is a 60 millimeter lid. We move it over by 30 just to make it in the center. And then we're going to use that left plane that we clicked up top to sketch a little pattern, right? So we use a square or a rectangle. Let's go ahead and sketch in our shape. So for example, we have this rectangle here and we can make it whatever size we want and then we simply extrude it inside so it's a piece of cake right uh, then once we have one of them we can hide that sketch so we can add some details for example a fillet or a chamfer in this case I'm gonna add a chamfer just to make it look you know modern and then you can also add a, a fillet to this chamfer to make it look even better and make it smoother but for for the process of this video it doesn't matter so if we want to make it all the way around we try to use the pattern tool, it doesn't work because it selects the whole body. We try to copy it over. Some shapes don't copy over because of the complexity. Uh, so what are we stuck with? Uh, well, we either sketch uh, individually all of, all of these rectangles and extrude inside to make those holes and then chamfer it. Or what we can do is extrude this as a new body and then we simply make it slightly bigger. Let's say we select all the sides and uh, we can't really access the bottom. So we just select that, that side and then we can do the bottom after it's already expanded a little bit. So we have to hide that circle sketch just so that we can work on it easier. Uh, let's get it out of the way. And then we can just extrude that down just a little bit. Doesn't matter how much, as long as it's over where we need it. And then we simply subtract from this body, that body. And now we have, guess what? A pattern. And then we can use this now, this little piece as a pattern. And what we need to do is change the color because if we subtract it from the body with a different color, it's going to change the color of the lid, but we want it to be the same color. So we change the color Then we go to the pattern tool. We choose circular, make sure it's circular. And then we select the central pivot point and we go around and we make sure it's 360 degrees to make the complete circle. Once we have that, we can choose how many patterns we want. And obviously you could have fine tuned this to see it better, but in this case, and we choose 50 in this all right and then we subtract from this body and we select the folder pattern tool and we click done and then we simply hide the pattern and we have our completed lid piece of cake super easy hope you learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys later bye here at j lake 3d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects please support our work so that we can keep doing it don't forget to like share and subscribe to see more